What's up everyone, it's Dan Lam, the man here. Today I'm in my bedroom. So I have to say that I am moving in, uh, I believe two more days. And you know what? I wanted to make one more video in this house before I leave. And I was thinking to myself, what kind of video should I make? So I was thinking about another thank you video. If you guys didn't know, I made a thank you friends video uh, about two years ago. This time I want to thank my college friends. So this is gonna be a part two college edition. For people who aren't interested in watching this video, you guys can like go to another video. And if for people who want to watch this video, well, good luck to you. And if you guys want to skip around, I will be putting some uh, times on people that I talk about. So I didn't really talk about like what the thank you video is about. So basically is like I've, uh, for close people that I really think that are truly friends, I want to talk about them, their good qualities, and thank them for the things that they've done for me. Shut up. Bye. So before we begin, I want to say for the people who aren't on the list, please do not get offended if you're not on this list or that you don't think uh, I consider you as a friend. No, like I consider you as a wonderful person if I ever talk to you, but the reason why you're not on this list because I generally think that we don't like talk enough or we don't hang out enough, so that's why there's really no connection there. And so that's my reasoning. So please do not get offended. I think that you're wonderful. So if you guys still want to watch this video and see what I talk, the people I talk about, well, go ahead. I have my computer right here in my hands. I wrote the names of people in alphabetical order. So you guys don't have to like think that I'm just judging it on like who I like more. So we're going to be starting from names with A through Z. So let's get started. So the first person I'll be talking about is Astri. Astri, she's a very good dancer and to me she's very passionate about the things that she does. Like I believe that she does give it her 100% on whatever she does when it comes to singing, dancing, etc. I also like how Astri just like says things that's like on her mind because I know some people would you know, hide the facts or like drop hints that they want something, but not her. She really just says what's on her mind and what she wants. And to me, that's like, it's kind of makes it easier for me to talk to her because like, I want to understand the person more by getting to know the person, knowing who they are. And since she doesn't hide like those traits of hers like it's very easy for me to like understand her and talk to her and that's what I appreciate thank you Ashley for being a great friend and I hope that you will still be there in my life uh, being friends with me so next up we have Destin Destin um, he's a very kind person and open-minded I have to say the way I talk to him no I don't know how to explain it though it's like if we have like an argument about a game, the way he argues, it's not like he's arguing. He's like, he argues, but he does it very calmly, which I'm impressed. I'm kind of impressed because I can't do that. I would always have to yell and to get my point across. So that's why I'm impressed. I'm not trying to be mean about it. Don't, don't, don't think I'm mean about it. Um, bes besides that, he's a very great person to talk to and play games with. And also he bakes really good cookies because um, before someone baked cookies uh, and I tried some, they were okay, but you know, they were kind of hard, like really hard as a rock and I didn't like that. But with Destin, it's good and soft, which it's a bonus. But Destin, thank you for being my friend and stopping by to hang out with us even though you don't go to our college anymore. I really do appreciate that you come by to like, you know, talk to us, play games, all that stuff. So next up we have Francis and I have to say that he changed a lot from when I first met him. He seems much happier and much more energetic and it makes me happy to see other people happy of course. Like I said, Francis has a lot of energy and um, he likes to joke around a lot. He does some things that annoys people. And unfortunately, I'm one of them, but it's not as much 
so I'm very lucky. In addition, he also likes to play Pokemon, so that's always a bonus for me, and that's how he got me back into Pokemon Go, so I hate you for that. But to sum it all up, Francis, continue what you're doing because you're awesome, and please lay off the poking, please. So next up, we have Izzy. Izzy, oh boy, girl, you, what do I have to say about you? I have to say that she was a handful in from the beginning when we first met but as time passed on i really do consider her as a good friend like there are times when someone would like mess up or do something wrong and you know what she would try to give the best advice to the person to say hey you were kind of in the wrong here even though her words can be harsh sometimes she only does it because she cares about the person because she wouldn't be doing it at all if she didn't care about you but she isn't perfect as well and sometimes she would need help from time to time and that made me realize like people aren't perfect in the world and they would always need someone to lean on and she proven that to me so i want to thank her for that so thanks izzy for always being there for me and i hope you will continue to do so and as an added bonus it's fun to curse her out Next up we have Jan. Uh, Jan, I would have to say he's very calm and patient for most of the time. There are some occasions where he would get angry, but we don't really talk about that. From what I've seen, Jan is pretty responsible when it comes to work, schoolwork, outside work, but he always tries to make time for his friends, which I can appreciate. Plus, he always says a lot of nice things about people and is very considerate of other people's feelings. And um, I gotta say that I consider Jan as one of my first college friends. I have uh, I have talked to like people in the past before him, but that only lasted for like a semester, so I really don't count them as friends. But since Jan is still here with me, well, you're considered the first, so congratulations. So I wanna thank you, Jan, for being my good friend, and I hope you will continue to do so from here on out. So next up we have Jodian. So for Jodian, I feel like she acts like the mother in the group. She's another one who gives great advice to uh, other people in under situations. She's always caring and wants to help others and make sure that, you know, that they're okay. Every day she would check up asking if the person's okay, which I really admire about her. But I can also see that she can sense when people are toxic and she would try to like you know back away from that not let them let them drag her into their situation it's something that i actually want to learn from her so please teach me jodian so jodian i want to thank you for always being there for me talking to me supporting me and i really do appreciate your kindness and I really hope that you will continue being there for me, so thank you so much, Jodian. <laughs> Next up, we have Kiana, but I don't really have anything to say about her, so let's just skip her. I'm just kidding. So Kiana is a really great person to have. To me, she's always prepared. She has, like, everything. She has extension cords. She got games. She got, like, um, cards. She got chargers, portable chargers. Like, she got so much stuff. Stuff that she's always prepared for anything. Hey, she can be the next door of the Explorer if she wanted to. I can say that Kiana is a very hard worker at school. I've seen her grades, they're pretty high, much better than mine. Uh, as, and as a bonus, she's a very great artist. Uh, I've seen her like paint a portrait of herself and it actually turned really, uh, turned really well. So that's why I consider her a great artist. But I want to thank you, Kiana, for always helping me out in my school projects. Like, you saved my GPA from getting even lower than ever. But uh, I really do appreciate you being there, helping me out with anything that I need help with. I hope if I have any other school projects, you will help me, uh, like, help me in any way. But except with that one professor, we both know who it is, so we're not going to even talk about that. But I'm not going to put you through that again, so that's it. So thank you so much, Kiana. Next up, we got Miriam. Now, Miriam, she's a very funny person. She always got these crazy stories to tell. Like, it's funny how she says she's a boring person, yet she got all these crazy stories to tell. So I don't understand how she said she's boring when she sounds so much fun. 
I have to say, Miriam really knows how to hype people up. I've seen her hype up um, crowds, and she's pretty good at it. Like, she can be an actual hype woman. And plus, she can, um, she, like, says things that whatever's on her mind, gives her opinions. And that is something that I really do appreciate in anyone. So, that's really great of her to have those kind of qualities. I also want to thank Miriam for giving me that little push that I need to join K-pop club. Like, I wouldn't know where would I have been without your help because I've made so many friends because of you, Miriam. And I really do, I'm very grateful for that. So thank you very much, Miriam. And I do appreciate your friendship so much and I hope we continue being great friends. Next up, we have Melody. Melody, she has a great personality actually because she's really funny and I really do uh, admire her like protecting the people who are close to her. She's very protective of her friends and she won't back down to anyone who is like hurting her friends. So that's again that's something that I really admire about um, Melanie. She also considers um, her friends feelings like what I mean by that is if she um, says something she asks the person to say hey are you okay with this? I hope this isn't like bothering you or whatever. So that's what I really like about it. I like about her traits and it shows that she's a very great person to um, have as a friend. Makes me think that I can learn a thing or two from her but Melanie I hope that you'll continue being that great person with a big heart so thank you so much for being a great friend. Okay literally I forgot one of the Rebecca's last names so we're gonna start off with the first Rebecca I know. So Rebecca I have to say you're pretty much the calm and quiet type but you're really fun to be around. I have to say, Rebecca is the only friend that I have that's actually licensed in cutting hair. So that's pretty impressive. Rebecca's a really nice person and like she's very easy to talk to. Like you can talk about anything to her and like any subject and she, you can always strike up a conversation. That's how it is for me and her because I talk about stuff to her and we keep the conversations going. So it's pretty easy to like make conversation with Rebecca. And I'm pretty sure if anyone else would talk to Rebecca, like they would get a uh, they were getting along with her, no problem. Like, I'm not even worried about that. So again, Rebecca, you're a very kind and patient person, and I'm so grateful for having you in my life. And please don't ever change your, uh, change yourself or anyone. Also, I know that I kind of complain about, like, saying, oh, you cutting my hair is, like, taking advantage of you. Well... I might consider letting you cut my hair again because this hair is getting pretty long again. <laughs> so... Please, Rebecca, cut my hair. Okay, moving on, we have the other Rebecca. To me, she makes herself likable in one, two, three. That's in my opinion. She does that. What I mean by that is, like, I haven't known Rebecca as long as the people on this list, but in a short amount of time, like, I feel like I've known her since forever. Like the other Rebecca, she is pretty easy to communicate and she's a great listener. Because she would listen to the dumbest things that I have to say. And I really do appreciate that someone would take their time to sit there and listen to this guy talk about whatever he talks about. I remember that she just popped out of nowhere and like she's so nice. Like you can't find people that are that nice. She just came out just like, mm, here I am, nice person right here. She also got the cookies and crackers from her favorite uh, money-saving store, the Dollar Tree. But thanks, Rebecca, for being such a wonderful friend to talk to. And P.S. When we get back to school, please bring some cookies. I want some. Thank you. Thank you. So next up, we have Susan. So Susan, she is such a fashionista. I am dead serious. Like, she always comes and has, like, a new outfit. Like, she about to go to some photo shoot or something. She's a very kind, chicken-loving friend. And I really do uh, really like talking to her. We also watch TV shows together. And we would always comment on the show or comment on the characters. I really do talk, like talking uh, to her about that kind of stuff. Even though Susan only comes out like once a week to come hang out with us since she doesn't come to our school anymore, I really do appreciate the effort just like Dustin. And I want to thank you, Susan, for being a good friend. I know I say that a lot about everyone. That's why you guys are in this video on this list. Thank you for being the sweet and funny person that I come to know and love. Next up, we got Tenzin Choyang. Choyang 
She is like the most carefree person I have ever met. Like she would always say such positive things about uh, others and even herself. From my point of view, anytime we have some kind of outing, she would make sure that everyone's having like a good time and strike up conversations and make them happy. So that's why I say that she has that positive vibe going for her. But I really do appreciate Choyan as a friend because um, she's just a great person to have around. And I hope that she keeps that positive and cheerful uh, cheerful attitude that she has going for her. So next up, we got Tenzin Dokard. Uh, in my opinion, when I first met her, she was a pretty chill person. She's still pretty chill now, unless she was playing video games. Now what I mean by that is she's pretty... I didn't know this. She was like... She's a competitive person when it comes to playing games. Yo, when she rages, the things that come out of her mouth is hilarious. Like, I think if anyone was around the area when she does that, like, I think anyone would laugh to that, honestly. Like, that's another whole nother side to her that I didn't know about, and <laughs> I'm glad that I know about it. Besides that, she's a pretty cool person. Once you get to know her better, get to like spend time with her, hang out with her. And so, thanks for being such a cool person, Dokard. Next up, we got the third Tenzin. I just call him TJ, just to make it easier on myself. But I'm gonna have to skip him because I couldn't find or think about any good qualities about him. So we're just gonna skip him for now. I'm just kidding about this one too. He's a great dancer, I have to say, and he's very happy and energetic. Like, you just put on some music, he'll start dancing right away. Like, he has so much energy just to dance. I have to say that he's pretty much a positive person, a little too positive in my opinion. Like, I've never seen him angry, so I don't know. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but that's how I feel. He's also a competitive person. Like, playing video games with him is so much fun. I played Super Smash with him. I played uh, One Hero's Justice, I think that's what it's called. And you know what? I'm never letting him beat me. Hey, but for you, TJ, next I challenge you to jump force, so you better watch out for that. But other than that, thank you for being such a cool person to hang out with. Alright, I got two more left. Next up we have Valentina. So I gotta say, Valentina is a really fun person to hang out with, even though we don't hang out with each other as much as I like to. She also shares my love of different kinds of food, like if I'm gonna go on like some food tour, I would bring her along just to try different kinds of food. Also competitive when it comes to rhythm games, like uh, Dance Dance Revolution or such, like I would go all out competitive on her. like. She's the, like one of the few people that can actually keep up with me, so I consider her as a rival. But girl, we need to like hang out more. Like you need to clear up your schedule so like we can go eat some good food, gain some weight, and then burn it off by playing some DDR. So let's do that soon. The last person on this list is Whist Lady. For Whist Lady, I really have to say that she really knows how to do makeup and take photos. I've, I've seen her Instagram. She's taking photos like she's some kind of model. I go on Instagram, look at a photo, and I'm like, who that? She's also another great singer that I know. Like, damn, she can hit those high notes in karaoke. Like, I gotta give her claps, claps, claps for that. In addition, she's also a great video editor. Like, she edited one of my videos. It was a chugging challenge, and... I really loved it and so did other people. But girl, we need to like collab more. Like, let's go and collab on your channel. Like, do my guy makeup. Like, why not? But Wiz Lady is very like a good and depend dependable friend to have. And I wouldn't like trade her for anyone else. Like, she's that awesome. So, thank you, Wiz Lady, for being such a great and awesome friend. All right, I got through all that. Oh my god, that was so much. But I hope I wasn't too sappy in this whole video. But yeah, like I've said a million times before, thank you all of all my friends who are on this list. And I really do appreciate you all. And thank you for being friends with like a person like me. And I honestly don't think that I deserve it sometimes, but you all chose to be friends with me. And I love you guys for that. <laughs> um, I'm sorry, I just don't like, I don't want to get emotional in this video, honestly. I really don't need the, that to cry in this video, but I really do appreciate my friends. That's why I do these kind of videos uh, whenever I like make new friends. 
high school, college, whatever, like, you're all very important to me, and I really do want to express, like, how I feel about you guys, so, again, one last time, thank you very much. But I think that's gonna be the end of this video, so I'll see you guys in the next video. So, peace, the man is out.